वेलकम टू माई काइनेमेटिक्स एंड थियरी ऑफ मशीन मीन्स के टी एम वीडियो प्ले लिस्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एग्जाम्पल ऑन बेल ड्राइव एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट इज स्पेशली बेस्ड ऑन द स्लिप इन कंपाउंड बेल ड्राइव सो लेट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द गिवन प्रॉब्लम द फिगर इज नॉट एक्चुअली गिवन टू यू बट आई हैव पुट इट ओवर हियर to understand the description of the given problem an engine running at 150 rpm drives a line shaft by means of a compound bell drive already we have discussed earlier about the compound bell drive where we have discussed this figure so here this problem is related to the compound bell drive so you can imagine this figure here on this shaft there are two pulleys that's why it is called as the compound belt drive and here it is written an engine running at 150 rpm so here i have given the number 1 so this is actually the driving shaft having rpm 150 the engine pulley is 750 mm diameter so this is the engine pulley having 750 mm diameter i am going to show you one more image so that you can understand exactly the arrangement over here for the compound bell drive here you can see pulley number 2 and pulley number 3 both are keyed on the same shaft that's why it is called as the compound bell drive one more figure that will be helpful to understand the description again here you can see this is the engine shaft which is the driver and this is the dynamo shaft which is the driven shaft and this is the intermediate shaft that is called as the line shaft the pulley on the line shaft being 450 mm so here you can see this is a pulley having diameter 450 mm that means this blue pulley having the diameter 450 mm a 900 mm diameter pulley on the line shaft try use a 150 mm diameter pulley keyed to a dynamo shaft so they are talking about this pulley a 900 mm diameter pulley on the line shaft try use a 150 mm diameter pulley keyed to a dynamo shaft find the speed of the dynamo shaft that means the speed of the driven pulley when there is no slip and second case there is a slip of 2 percentage at each drive so here our objective is to find the speed of this pulley number 4 by considering two cases when there is no slip and second case there is a slip of 2 percent at each drive from here to here there is a 2% and from here to here again there is a 2% so first of all list out the given data here an engine running at 150 rpm so you can say it is n1 then the engine pulley is 750 mm diameter so this is the engine pulley that's why it is d1 next on line shaft being 450 so this is the d2 then a 900 mm diameter pulley on the line shaft drives this one so this is the d3 is equal to 900 mm drives a 150 mm diameter pulley so it will be d4 find the speed of the dynamo shaft that means n4 is equal to question mark when there is no slip and there is a slip of 2% at each drive so let's see first of all the case number 1 when there is no slip so already we have discussed in case of the compound bell drive this is the velocity ratio n4 upon n1 is equal to the product of the diameter of the driver upon product of the diameter of the driven when power is transmitted from 1 to 2 1 is the driver then from 3 to 4 3 is the driver that's why 
numerator is actually the product of the driver so here d1 and d3 both will be driver and so that you can understand it will be follower or you can say driven here we have not considered sleep so simply you can remember numerator will be always products of diameters of the drivers and denominator will be products of diameters of the driven now put the value so n4 that is actually our objective upon n1 that is given to you as 150 rpm d1 d2 d3 d4 will be given to you so put it over here and simplify so that you will get n4 is equal to 1500 rpm so this is the answer n4 is equal to 1500 rpm so make a box because of this is your answer now consider case number two there is a slip of two percent at each drive so here you have to consider the slip when it is from one to two and again slip when it is from three to four that's why it is two times one minus s1 upon 100 one minus s2 upon 100 s1 that means the slip when power transmit from one to two and S2 is the slip when power is transmitted from 3 to 4. Here it is given to you there is a slip of 2% at each drive. So put the value here once again N4 will be the objective and you know that these values. Now put it over here 2% at each drive that's why it is 2% you can see. Now, if you simplify this equation, then you will get N4 is equal to 1440 RPM. So, this is your answer. Speed of dynamo shaft when there is a slip of 2% at each drive. So, make a box. Now, again, you see, when there is no slip, the speed of the driven shaft will be 1500 RPM. But when there is a slip, the speed will be reduced and here you can see the speed of the driven shaft will be less than this one due to the slip thanks my dear friends for watching this video if you have any question then write in the comment box